Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So today is a exceptionally windy day, but it is at least sunny. So for the past, um, I don't know, like two weeks basically, basically since I got the car and even when I got the car, it was kind of raining. It's just been raining. Like um, it's part of, uh, part of Houston life, I guess. It's just uh, a lot of the times it's raining or super cold. Um, we don't really seem to have good weather right now, but um, Usually the summer's pretty good, so. So today, taking out the charger here, I actually did drive the uh, Pilot a little bit, just because this thing is not all that much fun to drive in the rain. And um, maybe I just kind of got used to driving the Pilot. Um, now that I have another option, it's not nearly as bad driving the Pilot, because I don't, I'm not, I don't, I'm not forced to. So let's do a cold start in this thing. as you saw there um, that was my mount for my GoPro and um, I wanted to turn on the GoPro and just drive around a little bit so you could hear the exhaust on the GoPro but I um, I seem to have lost my SD cards for my GoPro which um, surprise is probably very surprising given my level of organization but anyway so I'm gonna stop by Best Buy to just grab a couple um, or one more of the uh, an SD card for that guy and then um, and we'll get that fired up so I'm here at Best Buy. I just picked up this um, SanDisk uh, SD card. Amazing the, the price that these things are now. This was $17.99 for a 64 gig. These things are so cheap. They've come down like uh, an incredible amount. Pretty nice. All right, see here I got my GoPro. Got it recording. I always just test it on my phone just to make sure it's working somewhat. And this is the linear view. This should be uh, should be good. And check out that view. I mounted that thing perfectly on the car, or mostly perfect. Pretty sick. Can hack into NASA. This one's dedicated to all the hackers. Even out, settle scores quick. My disaster recovery requires even more discs. Put your bites up, prove it or you forfeit. Got my C64.
until my blackberry dies Cause I'll replace it with the raspberry pie Don't compare to this track, it makes everything they said dull Neutralize any threat to Red Skull, the dev, no, they kill Okay, so anyone who follows me on Instagram <clears throat> You'll know that I, I had like a little scare, if you want to call it that Where the car just got a little bit hotter than I thought it should it, the, the temperature got up to like 225, I think the, the, the temp eventually went back down um, but I just filled it up with water and then I went home and I made sure it was topped off on coolant. Right. The odd thing is that now, so maybe it was the coolant because now I've been idling for a little bit, sitting in traffic and um, the temp's staying pretty good. You see the coolant 197, trans 125, that, that, that trans cooler is amazing by the way. So here's the, the trans cooler right here. All right, so it's got a it's a der derail. It's got a fan on the opposite side, so it can push air into it. And also, obviously, you're gonna have air coming through here. Um, this is a Flex LP line, so it's pretty nice. It's braided, AN runs. You got to feed and return, obviously. It keeps the trends probably um, too cool, if anything. But um, uh, where it's really gonna um, pay dividends is during the summer when I will be able to like hot lap the car and just kind of push the car a lot harder without worrying about the transmission getting too hot because it did a few times when I was stalling it up um, messing around with the car and stuff so um, that's that's the reason why I did that just to give the car more um, flexibility where it'll take a little bit more abuse before everything gets too hot and you so check it out I forgot you can do this so now I'm, I'm uh, looking at even more parameters check this out pulls on the new motor put this thing in um, track alright let me just do a quick little stats on that that was 0 to 60 and 5.1 which I came off the line really lightly and uh, of course the quarter mile was 12.3 uh, at 126 miles an hour eighth mile 8.5 at 96 so that was um that was interesting um, I didn't try to bring it off the line hard because there's no point it would just spin really bad so um, one thing for sure is I did get some belt slip. I, I felt the belt slip, like the surging from the belt slip pretty early on in the pull. So um, definitely, you know, probably something we'll have to address. All right, let's see how this goes. cool down for a moment let's see what those that data was so that core the 0 to 60 on that was a little bit better 4.4 0 to 100 and 7.9 eighth mile was 8 at 99 miles an hour quarter mile was 11.8 at 127 and um yeah 11 8 127 that's that's what we're looking at So I just did those pulls um, and I'm just driving home. I kind of got stuck in traffic and oh my God, uh, I left with like over a quarter tank, um, you know, from the spot. I, I haven't even driven that much and I'm like about to run out of gas. I really hope I don't. But like, dude, it just dropped. It started dropping like crazy. Uh, I'm, yeah, I gotta account for the additional drop because this is insane. All right, so um, 
hopefully those poles were pretty good. Uh, just one thing to keep in mind, I did, uh, I was really light um, off the line. I don't have any reason to, I'm on these stock tires. It's not gonna hook up. So I didn't try to launch it or anything. I just basically tried to roll off the throttle as hard as I could. And sometimes it spun, sometimes it didn't. But I think I came up with, um, with some decent numbers. Um, I was more looking at the trap speed and just kind of feeling how it pulled. Um, I am a little bit concerned about the belt slip, so hopefully we'll, uh, we'll um, probably when I take it back to Pites or when I take it to the G-Forces Dyno, we'll be able to see if that's occurring and um, maybe what I can do to resolve it. Because it was definitely getting a little bit of surging. Not every, not every time, but sometime you could, you could tell the belt was slipping, which, um, which sucks. Because when I, if I want to run more boost, it's going to slip even more, so... Uh, maybe I can just tighten it up or get a textured um, pulley, which is one of the things that I'll look at. So anyway, um, be sure to like and subscribe. Hopefully that was uh, it's a decent video. I um, tried to get a couple uh, good runs in so you can see how the car is accelerating. And it actually, uh, it, it pulls really, really hard on top end, if, if you can see from the video. Uh, once it um, once it's hooked up, it just, it flies. So it's definitely doing good. Uh, I really got to get it to the track to see what kind of numbers we're going to run but i'm a little bit afraid of the transmission although it did seem to like go through all the gears fine and everything so i'm just i just don't want it to fail like right away i want to be able to play with it a little bit before i i break it and i have to garage it until i could can afford to um get a built transfer it so we'll see how it goes i'm just trying to play it slow and kind of um you know break the car in and get used to everything so um yeah that's where we're at right now be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.